Hey guys, Matt the Camera Guy here. We are here in Athens, Alabama at Petty Performance. Man, this cat does all kinds of damn LS swaps. He is the LS king in these parts. Man, we got Camaros, Firebirds, Jeep Wranglers, race cars, COEs. Hang around guys, you're not gonna wanna miss this. Where do I start? Uh, I grew up on a small farm, uh, worked hard, tore engines apart, tore lawnmowers apart when I was six years old, built my first tractor engine when I was nine. So I've pretty much been a mechanic my whole life, you know. Went broke farming, my parents did, and so when I got out of school, we had to go to work and get regular jobs, and I wound up working for Caterpillar. Worked for them for several years as a diesel technician, Worked for those guys for, I think, 14 years as a diesel mechanic. Loved the job, just didn't like the management. Well, 22 years ago, we started this business, and it was called Petty Maintenance because we did maintenance on tractors, bulldozers, generators, all types of diesel equipment. Did a little fabrication. You know, you could do everything growing up on a farm, so had my hand in a little bit of everything and uh, slowly went in back into the cars. As it rolled along, we started doing cars here and there for my buddies and that just kept going and it just kept growing. So we started doing more and more of the car thing versus trucks and tractors and bulldozers. And of course I was getting a little older, so that's a lot easier work too, but I had more passion for that. Uh, the hot rod stuff is something I've always loved and I've always followed cars and racing and really always wanted to be a racer, really just never put my intentions in that direction. But, you know, as life comes up, too many things gets in the way sometime of your plans. Having a family, I've got a wife, two wonderful daughters, and so that takes priority. Now things are clicking along pretty good and and we're having a lot of fun doing this. And so we've changed it over to Petty Performance. Man, here it is. 22 years later, we build hot rides. We, we have a lot of fun. We, we build cool cars for customers. It's just a blast. Oh, that sums it up in a nutshell. The LS platform is fantastic. It is dependable. It don't leak like the old school motors. They last for hundreds of thousands of miles. They make plenty of power. They're lightweight. It's just a great engine. GM really did their homework on it. And so we put them in everything. We put them in Fords, Buicks, you name it. Jeeps, we put them in all kinds of stuff. And they work great. Well, this is a 2015 Rubicon. Transmission went out on it for the second time, so Time to upgrade, that's a 2018 model, 6.2 with an eight speed going into it. Works great, works great, it's fantastic. It weighs the same or less than the six cylinder that come out of it. So your suspension, the way it drives, nothing changes there. You just got plenty of power. Cool platform. This is a, uh, it's an old Bandit car. Actually, this is my personal car. It's, it's kind of a project car. I don't get to work on it very often. Too busy doing everything for customers. It's got a LS motor in it, twin turbo. I'm building it kind of to be a track car a little bit, but still be able to drive cross country with air conditioning and everything else if you want it, all the luxuries. So it's, it's going to be cool when I get it finished. I like the 78, the, the grill and all on the 77, 78 car, more like the Smoking Bandit movie. The, the 79's all plastic up front, and I, I have an 80 model too that uh, is not in here that I drive on a daily basis pretty much. I like that, that original movie nose that they had. So this is a 79 car, but I'm changing, the, changing it to the 78. I've got the 78 tail lights and the whole nose and all that, so it's, it's gonna be cool. 68 Camaro, customer's car. Put a front clip under it, LS3, six-speed. It was an automatic car originally, so we're going back automatic. 
Uh, we'll put wheel wood brakes all the way around it. We'll make a great driver for this customer. You know, he'll have fun. He'll have air conditioning. He'll have all the power he wants for a 68 model driver. Now the other one, I don't know if you can see that one. That is a cool project. My customer's a drag racer and he loves old trucks. And so we have a 48 GMC cab over cab, the old COE cabs. And that will sit in front of that engine right there. And then that's a brand new LS3 crate motor, six speed transmission, the whole thing's on air ride. And it'll be a car hauler for his drag racing. I grew up poor and working hard. And my dad, uh, he taught me, you know, your honesty, your word, your name. If you don't have that, you don't have anything. So that's, that's always been my platform. My wife tells me, uh, you know, I think you could make more money. And I said, like, yeah, I probably could, but it ain't about the money. It ain't about the money. It's when I build a car for you and I see you come pick it up and you've got a grin on your face and then you come back a year later and you're still got that same grin. That's, that's what it is for me. It's not about money. I mean, we all got to have money, right? But it's not about money. It's, it's about the enjoyment. And, the, and I have pride in that. I have pride in what I do and the way I do it and my workmanship. I do it to the best of my ability every day, every build, no matter what. I've had people come in here wanting rat rods. Let's, let's, let's just half-ass do it. I don't half-ass do anything. I never have. If I can't do it right, I'm not going to do it. And... All my customers know that. And so they keep coming back. They keep coming back. And they're all happy. And that's what it is for me.